What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Tomb Raider 3. I'm Badass Games, and today we are doing the Lost City of Tinos, Tinos, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea how to say it properly, and I don't care if you correct me or not. So, yeah, this is uh, definitely a difficult level to get through without using a med pack, especially considering they have that water part with all the blades spinning, and yeah, it's not very fun, but um, I can do it, and I will prove that to you guys in this video right here. So let's start off with a comment here from Lyric Master 2007 and he loves or she loves sorry this person loves how high quality my videos are and that's exactly one of the main things that I do is I ensure that the quality of my videos are good so um I I really uh look highly upon my videos to make sure that they look good so that's why they keep improving too. All right so um the first thing that we need to do is actually go grab a key so that way we can uh, open a door to pull a lever which will give us a ladder we can climb to press some buttons and perform a puzzle that will let us um, get to the next area <laughs> so yeah a bunch of Tomb Raider type stuff you know regular hopping and uh, no enemies in this area luckily and there's not very many items either now this lever that I pulled just opened a door down below me and I'm gonna go down there here in a little bit I'm actually gonna go claim these items that are over there in the corner or over there in the distance and we just run and jump and grab this sledge right here pull up and as you can see one of those uh, one of those items is the rocket launcher I got that back finally but I will not be using the rocket launcher it is uh, pretty much useless <laughs> for the most part I got the desert eagle you don't need anything else other than the desert eagle okay so this is the door that I just opened that I mentioned and right here is what's called the Uli key I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna use that to open up uh, some more doors to continue into the, the area behind those double doors right there. Alright, so the Uli key goes right here in this slot. So place this bad boy. It's going to open up these gates right here. And this is going to let me get access to the other side of those double doors. So we just climb on up. And once we get to, you know, about about here, it's good. Just do a backflip to get off this thing. Now, right here is a lever. Let me light a flare. Right here's a lever. Um, all it does is open this door. Um, so I'll pull it just to show that to you, but I won't be going through that door ever. So it's pretty much pointless to pull that lever. Pull this lever, because you notice that room that I haven't been to yet. When that lever has to be pulled in order to, in order to bring out the staircase. So there's a total of two levers that need to be pulled in order for that to happen. And the other lever happens to be down here behind these double doors that I just mentioned earlier. So pull this lever. Finally, it uh, pulls that ladder out and it also opens these double doors so you can easily get back into this room. Now I'm going to go into that room and climb up. into the area with the buttons. Now this puzzle, there is actually some rhyme and reason to this thing. It isn't just, you know, press these certain buttons. If you look at the pictures on here, you see a man at the top, you see a bull, and then you see a plant. And the way you're supposed to reason through this is sort of like a food chain type thing. You have the man which eats the bulls, or eats the animals, which eats plants. So this is definitely a button you need to press. Alright, so here's another one. A man will eat birds, and birds will eat fish. This is definitely a fact of nature. Here's another one. A man will eat plants. That's true, but a plant will not eat a bull. Alright, so that's not a button we want to press. A man will eat fish, but fishes will not, fishies will not eat birds. So that's not a button we want to press. A man eats birds, and birds eat plants. This is true, so we can press that button. And those are the sequences necessary to open this door. Alright, so continuing on, we are going to encounter a new enemy that we have not seen yet, and it's the most annoying enemy in the entire game. I'm sorry, but I hate these these firefly bugs things, and oh my gosh, I can't stand them. I'm going to grab the save crystal, and I'm going to kill this guy flying here. Alright, um, they're pretty slow, which is nice, but I mean, themselves, just, the, just one by itself isn't annoying. It's the fact that there are many. And um, I'm actually going to save my game right here because I'm going to go get a secret right now and it's inside of one of their hives and they do nothing but just keep spawning and I'm 
I'm not sure, but I think that they spawn infinitely. And so you can never really run out of bugs to kill. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna jump over to here, and now, let me light a flare. Let me show you something. Now, if I stand here, I'll throw the flare. You see that platform that lit up? It's an invisible platform. So, uh, yeah, here's a, here comes another bug, though. I'm gonna kill that thing. This might take a little while, because I gotta do a lot of a lot of pesticide stuff. Kill a bunch of these bugs. Jump and then grab in the air and we'll grab that invisible platform. Now there's gonna be more that come. Ah, don't slide, Mara, don't slide. And there's another one that's gonna come out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him too. Looks like there's gonna be another one. Well, doesn't matter, they keep coming. They're Oh, I missed the jump. Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's watch her break her neck. That was awesome. Okay, I'm going to reload my game, and I'll see you guys back in that general area. This is a very difficult secret to get, so. Okay, I'm here, and as you can see, this is a uh, you know, very dangerous secret indeed. Oh, man, I didn't want to do that. But um, there's a lot of places where you can fall, and on top of that, these bugs will push you off of the ledges. So, that yeah, they're very annoying bugs. And like I said, they don't they don't stop spawning. Which is really bad. So angle for that invisible platform, jump and grab, pull yourself up. And oh gosh, here's another bug. And probably yet another bug. Die bug. And I'm trying to hit this corner. There's another invisible platform here. Alright, now that I actually land on that, we're going to need another gun that's going to kill them off a little bit quicker. Oh, gosh. He's going to push me off, isn't he? No, I got lucky. Alright. So, let's get in there after I kill this guy right here. Die! Alright, let's grab this small med pack. Now I'm in the secret, and there's going to be another firefly here. Pull out the Desert Eagle because, uh, yeah. Alright, so right here is some Desert Eagle clips and some grenades, so let's grab that. Oh, another four. Ah! Why did you take so long to shoot that gun? It doesn't matter. Alright, um, they don't take away a whole lot of life, but just hop from the edge there and then you can tumble too easily to turn around and kill those guys. Alright, now it's time to... That's not what I wanted to do! I always light flares when I don't want to. Alright, so MP5. Hop over to here, and then I'm gonna take out this next bug. Cause they're gonna steep they're gonna keep coming. They're they're not gonna stop, dudes. They're just gonna hop over to this platform and try to find the edge. There we go. Oh, here comes one over this edge. I see him. I guess he doesn't want to come just yet. That's fine. I'm in the corner, so I can just do a running jump over to this platform and then fall down here. And I made it safely, thank goodness. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my pistols back and take them out that way so I don't have to waste the ammunition. Not that it really matters, I'm pretty close to the end of the game, but I don't know, it's like the gamer inside of me just doesn't want to ever use weapon ammo. I don't know. If I can get away with using the pistols, I, I would, you know. It's just, this is how it is for me. If that's how it is for you too, please leave me a comment and let me know, cause uh, I don't want to, I don't want to be alone in this this feeling. All right, there's a small med pack in this little trench here, and now we're gonna fight yet another new enemy that we have not seen yet, but very very powerful, and they shoot beams at you, they do a crap load of damage, and the best way to take care of them is clearly with a desert eagle. Always with the Desert Eagle, man. Always. Um, as soon as she points a gun, just start letting off. Count to seven. Oh, that was close. <laughs> so seven shots destroys one. And that's good to know because uh, we got to fight a little bit more of those. Some more of those later in the future. Watch out for the fire trap. Now down below me across that bridge, there was a secret, but the door's shut. 
and also there's a secret in the room that I was just in, but it's too high, so we gotta go do some stuff in order to get those secrets. Now, I went to the left when I entered that room, I'm gonna come into the arena where I gotta fight three of those big guys, but I'm gonna use my Desert Eagle. So, three, four, five, six, seven, takes care of one, and then there's another one behind that gate and another one behind this gate, and this gate's gonna open up before the next one, before the one behind me, so... I'm going to stand here and just wait for this. Count to seven. And now the gate behind me will open. Just side jump to avoid those, uh, those uh, sparks that they shoot at you. Now, this was the last gate that opened. And behind this last gate, there's a lever that we need to pull. It's going to raise a platform just inside this arena that we can use to continue on into the next area. So we climb this block, and that platform that raised is that one right there. So now we can actually climb up here. And there is a way, I guess, you can get around that. You can actually jump around a pillar if you jump properly. But you know, those guys are dead anyway by now, so... Whatever. Uh, crawl through here. And now we begin the uh, switch puzzle. Switch platform puzzle. Um, pretty intricate, and I, I actually like this puzzle a lot. Now when you ha get in here and you go to the left, you go through this crawl space, and behind here, there is a, uh, some flares and some Uzi clips. Now let's crawl out of here. Now be careful, you don't want to go too far in the crouch position because you get hit by that swinging flame and that's pretty much instant death. It's not going to kill you instantly, but you will die because you get caught on fire. There is water in this area and I'll show that to you right now. So you can keep feeding yourself med packs until you get down there, but yeah. Okay, so there's a bunch of platforms in this area that are lowered right now. You can see two of them right there. There's a third. There's another one right there that's up right now. Okay, and then there's one right there that's down, and there's another one right there, right below there that's down, and then you can see that one down too. Um, in order to get through this, I want to show you what you need to do clearly, because this is the walk. This is the walkthrough. Why would I not show it to you? Okay, so that platform that's up right now is gonna get uh, thrown down. It's going to get taken down because this switch right here does that. And the reason why we want to do that is because this switch also controls the other two platforms that are underneath Lara right now. The other two that I showed you. The one down there and the one directly underneath me. Um, they control those two platforms. However, it requires two switches in order to, to raise those platforms. And that other switch is underneath here. So we throw this switch. And those two platforms are now up. And we can use that to get down below, because there's another switch down there that we need to throw. Okay, so... Let's take another look. That platform right there is down, but these two platforms right here are now up. As you can see. Now just do a backflip like that, and then uh, stand against the, the wall here, and then just do a hop, and you'll land onto this platform and then do a tumble and you should land near this switch. So pull this switch and it's gonna raise the platform that's above Lara. So we're gonna go do that. Now be careful in this area because if you look over in the distance you see a crack in the wall right above Lara's head and that crack is a hive for hornets or for fireflies or bugs or whatever you want to call them they do not spawn until you step on the strip down there directly below Lara directly in front of and below Lara as soon as you step on that strip they begin to spawn and they do not stop so keep that in mind hop up onto this platform pull this lever now this is gonna drop the lever I'm standing on so I'm gonna quickly do a side jump but what it also did is it raised, the, there's a platform over there underneath that uh, monkey bar as you can see that it did raise. Now we gotta get over to that. I wanna run and jump over to this platform.
and then I want to climb up to here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go pull the first switch that I pulled in this area because it's going to raise that one platform that lowered, but it's also going to lower those other two platforms I was just on. Which is okay because we want that other one raised right now. So do that, climb, uh, crawl through here, and fall off here. Fall off here. And we can jump over to this platform here now. And now we want to get onto that platform that's underneath there. In order to do that, you want to jump in the air and grab, but you don't want to. You want to let go of X as soon as you're grabbing in the air, and you'll slide right underneath the thing and land on the platform. From here, hop up and grab the monkey bars, and then monkey bar your way all the way across this area to the last switch that we. Well, the last switch we need to pull to exit the area. There is another switch in this area that's going to open the door to the secret that's underneath the bridge where I fought the, the two huge spark shooting mutants, whatever you want to call those things. Um, so let's pull this switch to open the door to get out of here. And it's going to raise this platform right here. And we can use this to get out of, to get on top of these monkey bars. Okay, so now I have to um, open that door underneath the bridge. Now, the key thing, though, is that door is timed, and it's very far away, and so we are timed. Um, and the timer is pretty relatively short, so you got to be quick, and uh, we're going to see just how quickly I can do this. So pull the lever, and go, go, go. We want to sprint, sprint, sprint. And then over here by the beehive, we just want to fall off and grab in the air. And you... <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, you should make it in the water. Oh, no, go forward, Laura. Okay, so... Now, let's uh, hop over that strip. It shouldn't spawn any of the, those flies, which is what we don't want to do. Now, we come into this room, and now we want to sprint all the way to the back left corner. This is where we can exit at. Hop up here and climb your way to the top. And like I said, that door is really far away, and um, I'll get there eventually, but you got to be quick. I, I mean, I can get there, and I think it takes about maybe five seconds before the door shuts. So, yeah, do a side jump, and there's going to be a lever here that we need to pull real quick. Pull that lever. It's going to open this gate for us. You see that keyhole? We're going to be back for that here in a second. Alright, so now we need to make it all the way back, and we'll be back in this room, trust me. But the way that I'm going is going to take me out. Great, there's more bugs. This is where I came in before, here's the fire trap, now we gotta get through this without getting hit. Might want to stop for a split second, but don't want to waste a whole lot of time there, that's for sure. Now we want to come over here and... Time to go get that uh, secret. Whoa, whoops, that's not what I expected to happen. And here's the secret door. Yeah, nice. And this contains a save crystal, some uh, Desert Eagle clips, and a large med pack. Oh, look, there's bugs above me. I'll use my Uzis on them, because I haven't used those very much in this game at all. Ah, bug on me. There's so many bugs in this level. They are so annoying. Oh, come on. Alright, now we gotta get out of this uh, pit here. If Lara would stop um, randomly doing things. Let's climb our way out of this stuff. This is what I want to do. And I was going to actually show you how long that timer was, but I made it in and out, and then I had to fight those bugs. So, um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure the door shut pretty quickly after I got out of that, though. Um, so just And there's a lever inside there in case you get shut in, just so you know. Okay, so we got all that stuff. 
and um, we have two of the three secrets that are in this level. Let's go get the, the last one. So I'm going to go over to... Let me show you where the secret's at right now. It's actually up there in that hole where you see the ladder and you see the doorway. But what we got to do is we got to release the, the movable block that's sitting up there. And we're going to go do that. That's going to let us get access to it. I really don't mind wasting the, or not wasting, but using the Umi, Uzi ammo because I'm not going to be using them very much. And it really doesn't matter. I mean, I'm toward the end of the game, so. Okay, so now this room. I forgot to go get, I gotta go get the key first. Let me go get the key. Never mind. Let's go do that real quick, and then we'll go get that last secret. Ah! Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> uh, since I went this way first, there's going to be a bunch of bugs that spawn and come follow you, and it's annoying. Alright, so this is the area that I ran through real quick and I didn't explore, but there is only one thing of interest in here, and that is the key to that lock that we saw earlier as I was going to get that secret. So, that key happens to be right here. Pick this bad boy up. And then, uh, yeah, we probably gotta fight some more guys. And there's probably gonna be a lot more that come. So that's annoying, but we'll put up with it, I suppose. So let's climb up this ladder real quick. Once again, climbing ladders really slowly. So I'll go ahead and mention a comment. I got a comment here from Zach Slick, and she, he, you know, this person says, "Lara is so badass she can uh, be two seconds away from freezing to death, but if she gets out of the water, she can be completely warm in a couple of seconds." And not to mention the fact that she, she's, you know, wet and from freezing cold water in a freezing cold environment. Um, <laughs> so yeah, she's pretty baller like that. So I don't know how she does it, man. But then again, it is a video game, and you have to sort of uh, take that into consideration. Okay, so now these other rooms that we can go into all have a sp specific, uh, what is it, common element or something like that to them. So this one, you can see you got the mountains on this drawing. This one is of Earth. Okay, and then we have one over here to the left, which is of Wind. And then we have one over here of water, which is the one that I hate. I'm going to actually save for last. We got the one for fire right there. So each element has a specific thing to do, and they're all pretty much annoying, but we got to do it. Now I have the key. I'm going to throw that in the keyhole later, just to emphasize the fact that you need the key in order to get through this level. Okay, so I'm going to do earth first. Now this entire area is covered in, well, not the entire area, but... The t uh, area around this stone spire here is uh, all quicksand, so we got to be careful. If you go around to the right side, then you'll make it just fine. You don't sink too far, but if you go left from the entrance, then you will probably sink down and at least lose some life. You can make it to the other side without dying, but you have to use a med pack, and clearly that's something I don't want to do. All right. So the uh, way to get off of this is actually not too far ahead from now. But yeah, Lara is gonna sink, and just to freak you out. And the lever that we need to pull in order to access the final secret of the level is in this area, and I'm actually gonna grab that as soon as I climb out of this stuff. Okay, the exit is right here. There's a place where you can pull up right here. And now the way we want to go is up there, but first we need to go flip that switch to get us access to the last secret. Do a running jump over to this platform here. We can climb up into this little hole here. And in here is going to be that lever that I've been speaking of, and a small med pack. Come on, grab that thing. Come on, Lara. Slow poke. 
Pull the lever. Now that's gonna drop the block in that room. And I see a, another bug. Those frickin' bugs, man. I don't have a phobia for bugs, but man, they're annoying in this level. Luckily, this is the only level where they're at, too. <laughs> man, I couldn't imagine playing the entire game having to worry about those things. Alright, so let's hop our way back. Ah, whatever. Let's go this way. Alright, and there's really nothing else of interest in this area. There is a firefly bug over here. Dispose of him, I suppose, if you want. I'm not sure if he'll activate if you go around the other way, because there is two ways right there. Um, but I've always, I've always went that way and killed that guy, so... Alright, now... We come into this area and we claim our first oceanic mask. Now, you don't have to come this way first. You can actually go to any of the other elements first. I chose Earth in order to get that secret first. That's the only thing. As soon as we grab the mask, this uh, the gods become angry and the uh, Earth starts shaking. And you gotta be careful because those things from the falling from the ceiling will kill you. Oh, I just lucked out there. Alright, so yeah, more stuff falling from the ceiling. Now, there may be an easier way to get down or a quicker way, but I'm just going to take the long way. I'm not sure. I mean, there is an easier way you can get down, but you take a lot of life away, too. At least that's the, the only one that I've found. I'm not sure if there's another one that you can take or not. Now, we got to be careful because all that quicksand is now gone, and it's a long fall to the bottom. Long enough to kill you, obviously. Okay, so from here, you, you're going to run and jump over to that platform, but we have to take note that when we land on that platform, it's going to cause the ceiling to crash on us. So we're going to run and jump, and as soon as we land on it, just step back and grab the ledge. And we will avoid the damage from that. Now walk forward, and hop over to the here. And now, um, I'm... I'm going to actually save my game, just in case, because um, I've been known to miss this jump, and I might actually do that this time. So, yeah, going to save it. Jump straight forward, I believe, and then just run. Yeah, okay, just run through that, that thing. You want to watch out, because you, know, you saw the ceiling fall from that, and that will take away a lot of life, if not kill you. All right, so we want to fall. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, as soon as we... There's nothing dangerous here. As soon as we get to here, the rumbling finally stops, and we are out of the Earth. Oh, wait, I forgot about this trap. But before you go through this trap, don't forget about the Desert Eagle Clips that are sitting here in this little cubby there. Alright, so these things are swinging. Let's run through these things. Don't get caught on fire. Pull the lever. It's going to open up a trap door that we can use to climb out of here. And now we enter this hallway, and this hallway you can go several different directions. Clearly, you can go straight, you can go that way where there's some water, and you can go that way, which is the proper way. That's the exit. And all these other directions are return from the other elements. They are all return paths. All right, so here we are, back into the mask room. I have the, I have one mask, and I have one key. So we're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna need to use those later. I'm gonna go grab that third secret right now. And there's probably a bug in here I gotta kill. There he is. Now luckily these guys do stop spawning, and I'm pretty sure that they stopped spawning already. Um, we actually want to move this movable block one tile forward. It's gonna give us easier access to that ladder. You may actually be able to grab the ladder without doing that, but whatever. All right, let's climb up. And you can see the trap that's right there. It's going to be a swinging fire thing again. Whoa, whoa! Lara, you freak me out. What's wrong with you? Okay, so we queued the secret. We claim the save crystal and the large med pack that are in this secret. And we can leave knowing that we have all of the items in here. Watch out for that flame thing again. 
And that's not the last we've seen of that. Okay, now let's go into... Hmm, I wonder which one... Oh, gosh. I'm running out of Uzi ammo. I like how quickly they kill those bugs, though. Oh, I see one. Right, do I? No, I don't see one. Usually a green glow means that there is one. Okay, I think I'll go into the maze next. Which is right here. And luckily for you guys, I've created a map that's going to make this easy for us to get through. Um, so, first I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go claim the Uzi clips. And then the, uh, the flares and the small med pack. Then the shotgun shells. I'm going to come back down and go claim another small med pack. And then some grenades and then I'll be done. So, that is the route that I will be taking. Let's go do this. Alright. The Uzi clips that I want are right around this corner. And now, let's go up to the, the uh, small med pack and the flares that are actually hidden behind a... Um, behind a movable block, which is why I have it marked as yellow. And the red is actually dead ends. Let's see you guys and there's only, that's the only hazard in this area, is that one fly. The other hazard is getting lost, which, well, I have a map for you guys, so don't even worry about that. Alright, so here we are. Let's claim the flares in the small med pack, and now let's go get those shotgun shells. They are right here. And now we're going to go back, and uh, we're isolated from the other side of this maze from here, so we actually got to go all the way back to almost the beginning in order to get to that to the other area, so let's do that. And I hear a bug, and I'm not sure exactly where he's at. I've, I've never actually ran into, ran into him, so... Wait, did I just lose myself? I th I'm, like, watching the map here, and I think I, uh... No, I'm good. Alright, let's go this way. I know where I'm at. And then up, and then a little bit down, and I should be into the arm that takes us to the small med pack. And here it is. Alright, let's go back, and now I'm gonna go claim those grenades, and then I'll exit this area. all the way to the end and do a little bit of turning turn to the right and claim the grenades and now let's leave now the exit actually you know I, I said that the bug was the only hazard there's a, there is actually an exit hazard and I'll explain how to get through through that Okay, so at the very top you see this rolling thing. Well, it's not going to come at you. You're safe. The only time that thing rolls is if you get on the other side of it, where it's going to take you down into a pit that's going to set you on fire anyway. So if you ever land down there, you're pretty much dead anyway. Okay, so uh, but at the top of these slopes here, which where we need to go, you might be able to see the mask up there. There are a couple more rolly spike things. And as soon as we step onto this, it's going to cause one to roll. Just side jump onto this slope and then slide side jump back and you'll avoid them and then there's another one here and just do the same thing uh the other one didn't want to roll not sure why but i think you got to be a little bit higher claim the oceanic mask and that is the end of the wind section so we've claimed we've completed the the um earth section and the wind section so all that remains is the fire and the water and i'm gonna go do the fire one now kill any bugs that may have spawned. Alright, so here's that return path. Return corridors. Oh, there's a bug. I see you. I see you. And you're dead. Alright, so earth done. Wind done. Fire next. All right.
Alright, so this one I really don't have to draw a map for you guys. They already they pretty much give you one. If you stand at the top of this thing here, it shows you a map. And uh, you can see where I'm at right there. If you light a flare, it tells you the platforms you can stand on in order to get across. Um, X is clearly where I'm at. I didn't mean to do that, but... Wow, look at that. <laughs> Um, anyway, the X is where I'm at, and those platforms, I'm going to show you exactly which ones those one are. Those are. This is one right here. The other one is straight across over here. The next one is along the wall there. Oh no, don't throw the flare. Oh, oh I knew you were going to do that, Laura. <laughs> no. Alright, I got to go through a bunch of stuff I forgot to say. I saved it in the Earth area, so I got to... Yeah. Flare death. That's what that was, ladies and gentlemen. And it's annoying. I'll be back at this spot. Okay, guys, I am back at the fire spot. And this time, I'm not going to light a flare. Okay, that flare killed me. I don't like that. So, uh, let's get across this flame area without dying. And as, as you can see, you notice that as soon as I fell into that, that, uh, white water, whatever it is, acid, I suppose, kills you, sets you on fire, and you die. Can't get out of it. it. Sucks. Now, on top of this platform right here, this is not a platform with the items on it. That is not a platform that you can stand on, or rather the map doesn't say you can stand on. Um, but you can actually stand on it for a little while, and you can stand on it long enough to claim those items. I'm going to show you how to do that. So you take a hop back, and do a running jump right for them, and you'll land directly on top of them. Pick them up and then do a backflip as soon as you grab those things. Now, standing on the platform that I'm on right now actually turns those uh, flames off. So, it turns them off so you, that way you have a, a completely refreshed timer in order to um, get across. We gotta get up over to that area right there. So, there we go. Alright, now. Over here, there is actually a, a large med pack, but as soon as you stand on that tile, it's going to throw that thing at you. And you may think that's actually not reachable, but it is. I found that if you, like, hop into this thing like this, kind of crazy, you can actually move your way toward the large med pack and claim that thing. Oh, she got out of it. Get in there, Larva. Larva Croft. Can I grab it now? No. How about now? No. How about now? No. Grab that thing. There we go. And then it kind of spits you out on the other side here. And you can go explore up the ramp if you want, but there's nothing up there. So let's just get back through this thing. Nice little glitch. Keep going, Lara. She'll be through here in a second. Go, go, go! Alright, now we enter this area, and this is sort of difficult. Um, you got these statues blowing fire, and you can see the invisible platforms that they are illuminating. I'm... Aw, oh, man. Holding walk. And, well, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to light a... I didn't want to. I wanted to save my game, not light a flare. Because I'm afraid I might actually uh, get burnt here. Um, And I should probably throw that flare. <laughs> get rid of that thing. Okay, so what we want to do is we actually want to stand here at the edge and hop and grab in the air, and you'll grab the edge of this first invisible platform. Now, you want to make sure that you're all the way to the edge, and you'll see why in a little bit, but we need to time ourselves with these statues. We want to watch them shake their head three times. That's one two, three, and then pull up. And then do a running jump and grab in the air, and you'll grab the far platform. And then watch this guy. One, two, three, and then pull yourself up. And then veer to the left or to the right, and then run and jump, and you will make it over to this platform with the lever. And it's going to turn off that other statue that's breathing fire. And now we sort of got to do the same thing going back. Make sure we're all the way to the left, and then... Uh, oh, I didn't count that statue. So he's got one head shake, two head shakes, three head shakes, 
and then veer to the right and run and jump over to this platform. Now be careful as you enter this room, it's going to cause another one of those swingy lamps. Swingy flame lamps. You don't want to get hit by that. Uh, oh, whoa! <laughs> that was so close. Grab the oceanic mask. That is three out of the four. We still have one area left, and that is the water area. And I'm saving that for last for a reason. I hate that one. Okay, so let's go do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to save as soon as I get in there. Well, not as soon, but I'm going to save at a particular moment in that area where the uh, hard part begins. So, I have three out of the four oceanic masks. I have the Uli key that I need, and uh, I am just about done with this level, guys. All I have is one more area. I still haven't used the med pack. I did uh, not fall like I did last time, so I have a little bit more life than from, uh, before I died. Than I did before I died. Okay, so as you can see, you have these things twirling around. There's one in the water, there's one just below me, and you just gotta time yourself. This is a very difficult spot to get through without getting hit. Um, it's If you don't want to use a med pack, then it's even more difficult because, yeah, you can actually get... They don't hurt too bad, but when they do hit you, they, uh, they or when you get in the right spot, they can kill you pretty quickly, so keep that in mind. Now, I came back here to get a large med pack that's in the water here. Um, you can skip this. It's not necessary. Alright, let's exit this area. And uh, make sure you stay crouched like this. And we want to back off. I guess it really doesn't matter which side you go, but I'm gonna back off on this side. And before I get in the water, I'm gonna save my game because this is where the hard part begins. Let's hope I can get through this without getting hit at all. That's what I'm hoping for. Now it's all about timing and angle in order to get past these things. So I'm gonna go right here and then. I really It's really hard to explain exactly how I do it, but it's like, you gotta watch the blades go just, just before they uh, cross the path, and then you'll swim right past them. And now let's uh, pull the lever. Now if you're too close, it's really difficult to get through it, because if you're too close to the blades, as soon as you start swimming, she moves forward just a hair, and you might just end up getting really close to one, so... Yeah, just gotta be careful. And now um, you see these four doors here. I went to the one on the left, and now I want to go to the to the one on the right. This hatch right here is timed. I open that hatch by pulling the lever. And I'll explain the other doors. The top one has just an air pocket. That's all it has. However, the one with the switch in it also had an air pocket. So keep that in mind. The bottom one is the exit, the exit to the, from the entire area. So we're gonna need to go through that one eventually too. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is actually claim some of these items that are in here. There's some uh, Desert Eagle Clips that are on top of the uh, of this uh, little platform here, over here in the edge. So let's grab those, and now we got to time ourselves to get back. And now let's go back up here. Now the next place that we want to go is over there. You can see a lever. I don't only see if I can. Yeah, you can see a lever in a little pocket there where there's a stationary blade. That blade will begin turning as soon as we get close enough to it. So, um, yeah, we just got to time ourselves. It's all about timing. It's all about angle. So swim, Lara, swim. Get in there and pull this lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Stupid flare. What are you doing? Oh, she keeps picking up the flare. No, pull the lever, Lara. <laughs> Damn flares, man. Damn flares. I hate them. Okay, so now let's time our way out of this thing. Swim forward twice, and that's it. Let go. Over here on top of the ledge, there is some Uzi clips. And now let's time ourselves through this. Let's get some air. I'm gonna need it. And now we want to go back that same direction, but this time underneath that platform. Um, that lever that I pulled opened a gate that's gonna give us access to the oceanic mask. The last one that I need. Alright, so let's get through this. Oh, whoa. There we go. Alright. So far, so good. I better bite my tongue, though. Alright, so there's the oceanic mask. And... Grab that, and let's go grab the save crystal and pull that lever. Now, the lever, is, it's not going to show you what it does, but what it does is it opens up the gate uh, to let you out of here. And I'll show you where that's at right now, because i got to go there anyway. 
I gotta go through five more of these spinny blades. So let's see how well this goes. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Let's get some air. Now this next one's a long one. We gotta pull a lever and there's some more ammo that we gotta grab on the way out of here, so... Let's get to the bottom here and then time ourselves through these spinny blades. Ooh, so that's four of them. I only got one more that I gotta go through, and if I can do that, then I can do. I did this without getting touched. So pull the lever here that's on this wall. It's important because it's gonna open the gate to let you back into the original area. At the bottom of here of this thing, there is some MP5 clips. So don't forget to grab those. And now this is the area I'm gonna go through the bottom because that's the exit. So time yourself through that. Yeah. High five, everyone. And this gate is the one that the switch near the um, oceanic mask, that's the, sw the switch opened up that gate, so you guys get what I'm saying. Alright, so yeah, I made it through the water part without getting touched. I'm so amazing. Who wants to touch me? I'm kidding. Don't touch me. I'm touch I have a touch phobia. Alright, so swim to the very top of this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to pull this lever and we're going to fall down into the corridor, the return corridors. Head to the left. And exit. And now let's place all the masks and turn the key in order to exit the area. And uh, mask, it doesn't matter which order you place the masks at all. It's just the masks go in the slots here. Place one mask there. Oh man, no. whoops, it's not what. <laughs> okay, so while I'm placing these masks, comment from uh, Metal Machine Maniac says Since Lara took us on her graphically enhanced adventures, I've always thought she's been a militant feminist and extremely anti animal rights. She's the kind of lady who <laughs> likes to dominate a man. And <laughs> I would have to say that she's not technically. Um, a feminist. I don't know. She's just she kills anybody. It doesn't matter. It kills anyone that gets in her way. I mean, Sophia and Natla are two examples of females that she that got in her way. It's just it happens to be that men get in her way a lot. So let's place all of these by anti-animal rights. I'll agree with you there, man. <laughs> she loves killing animals. Um, turn that key, and then this beam of light that was in the center is now gone, and we can fall down here and slide down here and we're gonna get a cutscene and end the level and we'll get some stats after the cutscene. We're gonna see exactly what Dr. Willard was up to. And that is the Lost City of Tinos, and I, I gotta fight that thing next level. And I know a really good strategy to, of doing that. So, found all the secrets, didn't use a health pack, and I will see you guys in the next level, the final level of the level, of the level, 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 
of the game. <laughs> um, and then we have All Hallows, which is a bonus level for finding all the secrets in the game. So I will see you guys in the next video, and I promise I will, I will have that video with you guys very shortly. And I'll show you guys how to get through that very easily. I'm Badass Games, and you guys are watching Tomb Raider 3. Take it easy.